we left off our last episode, we were on our way from Palmerston Island to Brevich Reef. So it was a two-day sail from Palmerston Island, which is the westernmost island of the Cooks, to Beveridge Reef, which is just one day sail east of Nui. Beveridge Reef is a submerged atoll, of which normally only a small part is visible at low tide. We have been told that Beveridge Reef is shown as just a blob on the chart and not shown in the correct position. So I downloaded this hand-drawn chart from the internet, which turned out to be quite accurate. So this is uh, July 25th at 1 p.m., just about 1 p.m. And we're coming into Beverage Reef. And just as we were um, furling the jib sail, our three lines at the back, which As we approached the reef, it was quite unnerving as the chart showed us crossing right over the top of it. This is why we timed our arrival for midday to give us good visibility of the breaking waves on the reef with the sun high in the sky. We worked out that it actually sits 1.8 miles southwest of where the chart shows it. As we approached the coordinates shown on the hand-drawn chart, lo and behold, the entrance appeared. Grant stood a close watch for bombies as he went through the entrance and across to the other side to anchor. see the bottom as we pass through the entrance. We went across from the entrance that was on the west to the eastern side and as we approached the reef just inside was a bank of sand about a quarter mile wide, three meters deep, perfect for anchoring. Oh my god! 
So we caught this rainbow runner on the way in. We're just eating some um, sashimi. There it is down there. A couple of that's from a fish we caught probably 20 minutes ago coming into the anchorage. No, that's like Fantastic. an hour and a half ago now. Yeah. Two hours. Well, the truth came away with the story. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's beautiful anchorage. We're here on our own apart from some sharks. There's some beautiful bright blue garfish in the water there. So I'm just going to get it and see if there's any sharks around. <laughs> see if that is. <laughs> Are the sharks are wrong? <laughs> not coming yet. Not coming yet. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Checking. Here they are. Wow. 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 There he goes. Oh, here comes the third. Now there's three. Okay, now four. Okay, okay now jump. Jump in. Come on. Five? Four. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So the pista on this dance. Okay, this is what we've been trying to do. This one, guys. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let one grab it and see how strong they are. Okay. <laughs> Every day I got your back here, yeah, you can count on me for that. So put your hand in. Well, enough playing with the sharks. Let's go explore. We spent the next couple of days enjoying the complete isolation with the abundance of life and beauty of this wonderful place on earth.
Two days later, we saw a couple more boats on the horizon coming in to enjoy this wonderful place. Of course, since this reef is charted to lie so far off its real position, shipwrecks are far too common of an occurrence. A few of us decided to go have a look at this fishing trawler that met its demise on the reef and then got pushed inside. It now serves as a safe haven for the school of blackjack, hiding from the sharks. The next day, we left the isolation of Beverage Reef behind and headed towards Nui.